Hey guys, my name is Michael King. I'm the owner of Radioactive Everything. And today uh, we're gonna head out and find some uranium. Uh, I got a lot of uh, messages on my contact page of how I go about finding uranium. Um, and uh, so today I am gonna take you guys out to a, uh, a prospect that I think is gonna be uh, payoff, not, not for sure. But if we don't find anything there, I'll take you to one of my other places I go. Today I brought with me my two workhorses, uh, my Ludlum Model 2 and my Ludlum Model 3. Uh, my Ludlum Model 2 is uh, fitted with a uh, scintillation counter on it, and that's a very sensitive, uh, it's kind of like a Geiger counter, only it works a little differently, but essentially it does the same thing. It uh, detects, as, detects radioactive particles, specifically gamma rays and uh, high energy betas, and, uh, and then it makes my, my counter click. But, It'll detect uh, radioactive items significantly further than the other one. The other one is my Model 3 with my uh, Ludlum 44-9 pancake probe on it. And that'll pick up alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. And uh, that one I use to kind of uh, pinpoint uh, the uh, source of the radiation. So the scintillation counter gets me close and the uh, pancake probe gets me right on the rock. So, but I'm hoping today that it won't be like that. I, I have a feeling there's gonna be uh, quite a bit of, uh, of radioactive rock in this area and uh, we might get lucky, lucky and uh, uh, bring home a few samples. All right, we're here right off the side of a highway in a place I uh, located here. And we're gonna walk around with this bad boy here and see if we can't uh, zone in on some uh, radiation here. Okay, I think I found something here. We might have to do some digging to find it though. But let's look. I'll put the Geiger counter where you can see, or the scintillation counter. So there's definitely something there. Now, this detector is really sensitive, so it could be down a little ways. So the idea here is to get on it, and then uh, and then we'll dig a hole a little bit and see if it gets hotter, see if we're getting closer, and then we're gonna switch to the other detector so we can key in on where it's at. Well, I wish I was recording when that happened, so I was out there working that little piece of dirt, and then, uh, there was a little rock fall. You guys can't tell how big that is, but it's over 100 feet high, and it's vertical cut. It's a cut through for a highway, and uh, there's a little rock fall about 25 feet away from me. Nothing that would have killed me, something that would have hurt me, but uh, I've decided to abandon this spot only for safety reasons. So let's go to my other spot, shall we? All right, we've come back to my little secret spot here, and. Uh, this place is a little safer here, and uh, we're going to uh, see if we can't uh, work this spot I found before. You can hear this thing ramping up already as I'm getting close to this spot. Like there's significant ore here somewhere. But listen to this. This is my secret hole. I'm going to put it on 100. Yeah, it's pegging it. That's uh, 50,000 counts right there. So that's times 10. So somewhere in here is some good stuff. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I was stymied last time by this big rock right here. So I'm gonna hit it with a sledgehammer for a little while and see what happens. Oof. 
All right, broke a piece off. Let's see what's in it. Nothing really in this rock, but down in that hole down there, still something going on. So we gotta get some of this rock out of the way so we can uh, get to underneath it. Here we go. Should always check what you break off. <laughs> you never know if that's your source or you might have found something new. All right, not it. But we did manage to get some of that rock out of the way. Nope. Nope. So, seems down there. Oh, here's a little piece. Oh yeah, there we go. There's one. What are we getting? Put it on times 10 here. Right about 10,000 on this one. Look at all that black. I'll bet this is radioactive. Woo! About 70,000 counts on that one. Another good one. All right, I'm gonna go get my chisel and my hammer. Be right back. All right, I got my fancy Home Depot prospecting bucket here with my shovels and I got a chisel and a hammer. All the things you need to break stuff out of rock. So now we're gonna work this little deposit here. I'll get you a little closer this time. This is uraninite in a matrix of sandstone. It's always nice to grab a check source just to make sure everything's still working. A little while ago I turned on my uh, counter and uh, it didn't start clicking. Battery check, and then it started working again. So let's see if we can find where our stuff is straight down a lot of it nothing over there it's all right there this thing's kind of directional so right here that's a big ten fifteen thousand count source right there I don't know how 
And the cool thing is if it's, does, if it's not right on the surface and it's deeper, then it's, even, it's gonna be hotter when we get to it. Oh, I'm picking up chips of stuff that broke off here that is uh, radioactive. Oh, another good one. Just little pieces in this pile right here. See, they kind of stand out all black like that. That's your ananite. You can hear it clicking away. That's why I say measure everything. There's a lot of teeny tiny pieces here, but no one wants teeny tiny pieces. That's a solid piece of rock right there. Let's see what we got. It's a little bit radioactive. Measure it. A little bit, about 5,000 counts. Right, here we go. Now we're getting a more blacker, solid uraninite here. Yep, that's about 5,000. There's a big chunker one here. 10,000. Another one in matrix. And matrix means it's two different kind of rocks kind of glued together or kind of embedded in each other. What do we got? Look at that band right there. Very possibly uranium in matrix. It is. We'll keep it. Radioactive, we'll keep it. Let's check the ground. I'll tell you, this isn't the hottest deposit I've ever got. But it's some. I'll tell you a story about the first one I ever found. It was right near here. And I uh, came out with my scintillation counter. At the time, I had a GQ GMC 600 uh, Geiger counter. So I was really afraid to get it to break it. Oh, that one's spicy. And so I. Uh, that all wrapped in plastic and everything. And so I'm up against the rock face out here and uh, can't find anything. Working at it for about 25 minutes or so, nothing. And then I let my arm drift down. I just let my arm hang down because I was getting tired of holding the counter out there and all of a sudden the thing starts giving me quite a bit of a uh, signal that's a good one keep it and uh, so I start looking at the ground right there for what it could possibly be and uh, my, the, my little Geiger counter isn't picking anything up, so the scintillation counter is going nuts. The little wisdoms, that means I have to dig. So I start digging. I get down about 18 inches and I pull out this 10 pound rock of pure uraninite, not in matrix, just solid black rock. And I thought, man, finding uranium is pretty easy. And then I realized that 
that was such a gigantic fluke and I was so fortunate to find it and that I shouldn't expect to find things like that. <laughs> Alright guys, well I've been whaling on this rock now for about two hours and uh, had to change the battery in this bad boy. Show you what we've done here. This is our this is our little excavation up to this point. We got out. Let's see here. Here's our haul today. I'd say about oh about eight pounds maybe. Eight pounds of rock. Most of the big ones are well over eight thousand counts, and the little ones are definitely over two thousand. So that's how I do it. You just you do some research on the interwebs, and then start scouting around. You want to scout around with your uh, scintillation counter and start, until you start picking up some uh, hotter rocks and then you want to uh, start digging around see if you can't find uh, some nice black pitch blend or uraninite. Maybe you'll luck out and find an aninite or something. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Uh, if you guys want a source, right here on the www.radioactiveeverything.com, uh, you can get a piece of this stuff that I dig up. Right now, the stuff I have on sale are smaller pieces, about this big. If you guys have a bright, shiny new uh, Geiger counter, you want to make it click a little bit, that's the guy for you. Um, as far as uh, these rocks here, I'm going to process them out. I might uh, piece them out into larger pieces and uh, put them up there for you guys. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys uh, want to see more of this, let me know in the comments. Or shout out to me on uh, www.radioactiveeverything.com, and I'll see you guys there. Have a good one.